Hi there, I'm Chef Celeste and welcome to My Louisiana Kitchen, where I'm going to take you all around Louisiana through food. On today's episode, we're going back to basics first. We're going to talk about making your own seasoning blend. So we're going to talk about some things you should have in your cabinet and how to make a blend. Then we're going to go and make a shrimp and corn soup. So stay tuned and we're going to get started. So hey there, first off, if you don't have a mortar and pestle in the house, that's okay. You can use a food processor or get you a bowl in the back of a spoon, a rolling pin, something like that. But the basics, we're gonna have some coarse salt. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in, and this is gonna be a blend that you can store and use for different things. So we're gonna put a little bit of salt in, then we're gonna add some peppercorns. You can use red, you can use whatever you like. So on my plate, I have some the peppercorns, I have some coriander, I have a little bit of paprika in here. I do have some cayenne pepper on here because we're not going to go with the whole red peppers right now. And I put a little bit of my steak seasoning in here because I want you to have a little bit of meat in everything you cook, okay? So then we're going to put that on here. Then I want to add a little bit of crushed red pepper. We are spicy here, okay? Crushed red pepper going in. Some chives. So, take your pestle, put it in here, and what you want to do is just stir. You want to press down and you want to blend in here. You can also add some garlic if you want a granulated garlic blend. You can add garlic in here. You can do a wet mixture also. I'm going to show you how to turn this into a wet mixture, but right now I'm just blending. It's going to take a little bit of time and effort, but you can put the kids on this here. And how fun is it to say you have actually made your own seasoning blend. You can turn this into a rub for pork, for seafood. Depending on what you're doing, you can grate some of my um, cinnamon in here. I say mine because it's on my board, I didn't make it. But you can grate some cinnamon in here. And I'm actually gonna put some cloves in here in a minute, but I wanna get some of this chunkiness out. Um, and then that's what we're gonna do. Just keep stirring. If you put it in the mixer, just pulse it. You want it to go until it's almost a fine paste, sort of like this one here. You don't wanna pulverize it too much. So that's what I'm going for here. And my peppers are starting to crush up a little bit but I just gotta put a little bit more elbow grease in here and keep it going. I'm gonna add in my other herbs here and just keep it going like that, okay? So this is gonna take me, I don't know how long it's gonna take you, but it's gonna take me about a good 10 minutes to do this here. I'm not gonna make you look at me for 10 minutes, but um, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna keep working on this here and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I love about being in the kitchen. It's something that I've enjoyed since I was a kid. I was the one that was adventurous in the store. I would ask my parents if we could try something new that I hadn't seen before. They would let me try that. So um, I just love everything about being in the kitchen. I did not become a chef until I was 20. I went to school when I was 27 years old. I would play around in the kitchen cooking for other folks and doing things like that. But as a profession, no, that was not the thing that I wanted to do. And um, once I started, attending culinary school and became a chef. Life changed for me because I was truly enjoying my calling and what I was sent here to do. And to be cooking in Louisiana and sharing my Louisiana cuisine with you is like a dream come true for me because I used to watch Louisiana cooking when I was a kid in Detroit. So um, to be here and actually in the studio right now where some of the chefs that I used to watch cooked. To me, it's an awesome feeling. So I just say that to say, whatever your passion is, go for it. You know, just do what you love. So look at this, it's starting to make some traction here. So I'm just gonna keep on going. So give me just a few minutes on this one here. We're gonna come right back and we're gonna dive into our shrimp and corn soup because that's what we're gonna use this particular blend right here for. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this where I want it. 
So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start on our soup. The ingredients are shrimp. I have some wonderful Louisiana shrimp from Anna Marie's actually at the farmer's market. So I have some 1620s, we've peeled those off. We also have the spice blend. I have some heavy cream, Parmesan cheese, onions, corn. This is canned corn here. I have some corn that I'm gonna shuck off and show you how to do that. Then we're gonna add some parsley in there and um, of course some butter, some flour, all that good stuff. So let me add my butter to my pot. And yes, I'm actually using butter this time. So it's not a, a huge part of my cooking, but um, it's needed today. So add that in. While the butter is in here, I have half of an onion. I'm gonna add that in also. And I'm gonna turn my heat up on high for right now so I can get that simmering in here. And this is gonna be the start of my blonde roux. Now I think I have shown you how to make a roux. So the blonde roux is gonna be the basis of this soup right here. In here also, I'm gonna take my first bit of corn and I'm gonna grab a knife and show you what I'm gonna do with that. So the corn that's actually on the cob, you can take that and I'm not gonna go all the way down and cut it in the pot. But take it, you see how it's on the stalk, hold it right there. Go close to the cob and just cut all the way down, close. And you can actually take the cob, let it soak in the stock and get all of the flavor out. I can actually take this cob and as the soup is cooking, just drop it in there, let the flavor come out. And then before I serve, take that out. So you get all the freshness from having freshly picked corn. So just cut all that off. You see how it's coming down? No big deal. You see that juice that's popping out of there? That's what you want in your corn soup. So you want some freshness in there too. If you don't have fresh corn, that's fine. Can is okay. You know, I just want you to get in the kitchen, get to cooking and um, enjoy what you do. I sat that over to the side, but I am gonna use it. I don't want the cob in my pot right now. That's not what I'm looking for. So we're gonna let this go, crank it up a little more. I like to bring things up, let it caramelize a little bit, and then bring your heat back down. I'm gonna do all of that before I add the flour in there so that my flour keeps its consistency. I don't want the flour to turn brown or get a dark roux or anything like that. So let that go. Notice I didn't put any salt, any pepper, anything in here yet. I just want my onions and my corn to go. So while we're doing that, on your seafood, get the best grade that you can possibly find. And it's better to get the whole shrimp, and then that way you can peel it, take the shells, and I've shown you this here in the pilot. So take the shells and put it in a pot with cold water. And then once you get it in the pot with the cold water, then you bring that up to a boil, reduce it to a simmer. Once you reduce it to a simmer, then you just let it cool, let it settle, and then it's, it should fall back down clear. Now I've added some seasonings into the stock now. So when I pour it in here, it's gonna be nice and flavorful. So you can keep a stock at home for you to use at all times. So why not? So we're gonna let this stir for a little bit. You see how that's going now? The, the onions are starting to get a little translucent. That's what I'm looking for because the soup, it's not gonna take long once I put the cream in there and the shrimp. The shrimp will be the last thing that I put in because you're still gonna get that flavor from the stock. That's what we're looking for. So when I'm at the restaurant cooking, which is Chef Celeste Bistro in uh, Louisiana, I have one inside the Neuromedical Center and one inside the farmer's market downtown. Um, I like to, people know that shrimp is my favorite thing to cook. So I'll do shrimp so many different ways. You've already seen the, um, the sauteed shrimp salad. So we have this in here, we do a shrimp pasta. So everything, uh, comes with some sort of shrimp. I just love cooking shrimp. So that's what makes being close to the Gulf fascinating for me because I can get all different types of seafood. So whatever, wherever you are, see what you have available and that's what you work with. So I don't want it to be where if you can't find an ingredient that I use, don't omit the entire recipe. Just omit that ingredient and substitute it with something that you like. So you hear that sizzle? I'm gonna turn the heat down to medium now. 
So now that we're on a medium, I'm gonna add my flour in. And these are heaping teaspoons. Two. Two is enough. I'm not making enough to feed an army right now. I am just making enough to feed myself and the crew. And if you're eating for one or two or even four, this is enough for you. So if, uh, if you want a larger batch, then of course, you know, you just use more. So you see how that's starting to bubble up a little bit, turn into a, like a light little roux. Now I want to add in some more corn. I don't know about you, but I'm a fan of corn. I can eat corn like you can go to the field and uh, shuck corn and just eat it right there. It is so sweet, our Louisiana corn. You see how that's starting to thicken up a little bit? Look at that. Turn it up just a little bit. Now we're gonna add this stock. If you just made your stock, I want you to let it cool a little bit before you add it to the pot. You don't wanna add hot to hot because that's gonna boil up and you're gonna burn yourself possibly. So we're not looking for that. Get all my seasoning in there. Yes. Set that over to the side. Give it another quick stir. Now remember, this has shrimp flavoring in it already, so you don't have to worry about, well, where is the shrimp? The shrimp is coming. So, let this cook down. What I'm gonna do is peel a little more of our wonderful shrimp here, and then we're gonna add that to it, and we'll be right back. Okay, get my shrimp in there. All that juice. Keep that going. Mm. So, the shrimp is already in here. So now, I'm gonna add my cream. Got about a half cup of cream, because you gotta have that nice, rich flavor in there. And you wanna indulge yourself every now and again. Everything in moderation. So, it's okay to have something that's a little heavy. Now we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese in here. You know what, I'm gonna sprinkle the Parmesan cheese because I don't want too much in there. So that's two nice, healthy pinches. And if you like more, of course, add more. You should know that by now with my style of cooking. I chopped up some parsley. So this is about two tablespoons of chopped parsley. Fresh is always better when it comes to your parsley. If you don't have fresh, it's okay. But let me show you what I did. I just took a nice little bunch off. You tear that, and all I did was twist it up. Twist it, take it, and chop it. That's it, okay? It makes it easier when you twist it up. It's not flying all over the place. So just let this go for another seven minutes, and this is ready to plate up. The soup is gonna be delicious. You see I put the cob in there also so that we can get that extra flavor out that I was talking about because you have two stars of this show right now. You have the corn, that's the star, and you have the shrimp. That is equally as much the star. So you wanna have both of those flavors married together, not competing for each other. So that's why you put the shrimp stock in and you have your corn stock in here also. So it just kind of marries together. So while we're waiting on this to work up, we're gonna go back over these spices. On these spices, use what you like, but get you some curry in your house, get you some whole cracked pepper in there or peppercorns, get you some kosher salt in there. Of course, I want you to have my seasonings in there. It's uh, Chef Celeste seasonings. I have my Creole garlic. I have the cracked black pepper and I have the steak seasoning. And the thing I love about those is you can use them individually or depending on what I'm making, I'll blend all three of them together to give you another spice blend. So look at what you have at home and think of different combinations of how you can put things in there. And when you do that, what I want you to do is uh, let me know what you came up with. But we're gonna talk about that in a little bit, how you can show me all of your photos. So I have my ramekin here. I'm gonna get my ladle and I'm gonna put this in and we'll be right back. We're gonna plate. See you in a minute. All right, I'm gonna plate me up some shrimp and corn soup. Get me a nice little ladle in there. Look at that. 
If you want it thicker, add more roux, add more flour to it when you're doing that. I didn't take my cob out because I'm plating this up for myself. So before you take it to your table, take the cob out. I think I want another piece of shrimp. Now one thing you can do also, if you're, if you're feeding a lot of people, you can actually take your shrimp and you can chop it. And then that way every bite you have shrimp in, in there. Um, that's not something that I choose to do for myself, but um, whatever makes you happy. Let's take this, drop it in. Now, I was telling you how you can reach me. You can reach me at Chef Celeste Gill on Instagram. You can also reach me at um, Chef Celeste on Facebook and same thing on Twitter. So reach out to me, let me know. I want to see your photos. Eat well and I'll see you next time on my Louisiana Kitchen.